and here we are with another video on the channel taking a look at the Lyric Graffiti and taking a look around following a snowstorm overnight well let's go for a ride in the snow the melting snow so the current temperature on this video I'm riding in uh, 29 degrees we have a wind chill of 18 degrees currently and we're just going to take it easy and do a little riding on the Lyric Graffiti in the snow and slush and ice and all that at least we have sunshine and there is some uh, flowing snow off of rooftops as you can see so technically this isn't the first ride uh, in the snow on the Lyric Graffiti uh, because I did ride it this morning in to and from work which is only a mile ride uh, each way but uh, so when I rode into work I should talk about this a little bit so when I rode into work this morning there was between four to five inches of snow on the road and I basically take one road pretty much right into work and uh, as we navigate through the uh, ice and snow here getting too close to the edge there but anyway on my uh, right in there was a good four to five inches I want to say five but even to be conservative at least four and Uh, but I made it in perfectly fine. My ride in, uh, I rode between 8 to 12 miles an hour. That's where I kept it. A lot of times I was right around 10 or 11. And sometimes I would slow down to like 8, like I am right now. And, uh, you know, the ride in was fine. It was, there was, some wind and it was snowing at that time compared to now we have sunshine so it's definitely different even though the temperature is only 29 still and the wind chill 18 with the sun out uh, it's melting as you can see although you can see in certain areas it's not melting like right here because it's more shaded of course but uh Surprisingly though, I was able to navigate this morning, no problem at all, and most of my ride in, there was a car track for a lot of the ride in, one car track, so I kind of followed that, but then that car track went away and there was no car track, and I leave to go into work just after 5 a.m. in the morning, so it's still dark outside and not many people are out and about at that hour, right, so, but anyway, So when the, when the car track went away and I had no car track to follow anymore, I actually like that better because I find riding in the fresh snow, I seem to have better traction than even in the uh, car uh, track. And I think the reason for that is that I'm finding myself trying to stick handle my steering, you know, to keep it straight right in that little uh, car track. And so I think it's kind of easier just to have your, you know, create your own tracks. And the bike doesn't move around as much, but you know, it didn't slip or anything. I think one time I felt a little bit of, because I jerked the uh, handlebars a little bit, I felt a little bit, just a little touch, but basically nothing. You wouldn't even really call that anything. And so that was basically it. And uh, otherwise, you know, the bike. Really, it just handled well. I was surprised. I was not expecting um, it to be that easy of a ride in. And where I am here, as you can see, they just don't plow these side roads at all. I just, because it doesn't snow very often. I mean, some, some winters will go the whole winter and not get any snow at all. 
this is a exception and this was a, a lot this was a large amount for us to get in a short period of time i mean i think it started here at 7 p.m and like i say when i went out to go to work at 5 a.m that's 10 hours later it, we had all the snow and um but it was nothing here compared to uh more in the portland area for example pdx portland airport they had reported this morning early this morning they had uh 10.8 inches of snow had fallen there uh, so that was basically uh double the amount we had so quite a bit there i'm just gonna turn here navigate up this hill But the bike, uh, the bike performed well. I mean, this bike is so smooth. It doesn't, it's not a herky-jerky bike or anything. It's, it rides so smoothly. Um, I didn't have any, any problems at all. And uh, I mean, I, like I say, I only ride one hour or one mile to uh, work, to and from work. And so it's two mile altogether. Whereas uh, if I had to ride several miles, you know, I don't know if I would have wanted to do it. I don't know. Maybe I would. But uh, riding at the slower speed, of course, you have to give yourself more time to be able to do it. But uh, I mean, if you within five miles, if you get to be more than five miles and you have to go slow like that around, you know, between eight and 12 miles an hour, that might take you too long. You know, maybe you don't have that kind of time to be able to do it. But uh, but it's certainly doable. And well, and uh, you just got to take your time. And like I've said in the past, on the uh, riding the graffiti or riding the uh, grizzly in the snow, you just got to be, you know, just take your time and. Don't try to get there in two minutes or anything, you know, and you can do it. It's definitely doable. Probably, uh, it'll probably zap a little bit more of your battery because it's working harder to navigate through this, but I haven't had one slippage yet in this ride. And I'm not going very fast, as you can see, on eight miles an hour right now. This is probably harder to ride in than, like I say, the fresh snow. Because the fresh snow, it's not packed down. You're not having to navigate through a narrow uh, track or anything like that. And uh, so it's probably a little easier, but. Um, like I said in the, I've said in the past, uh, riding the grizzly in the snow, um, I wouldn't want to, uh, I don't think I'd want to venture doing this with narrow tires, you know, like a more traditional bike. I think having the fat tires is definitely a plus in these situations. If you're going to ride in this type of uh, conditions, then I think you want a fat tire bike. As you can see up ahead, we got lots more of this sloppy slush, but I wanted to get out and try it and see how it navigates in this. Uh, and I wanted to get it on video because it's, it's the first time the graffiti has gone through this kind of condition. And I want to show everybody what the bike is capable of. Um, you know, maybe you're, you're going to ride it in these kind of conditions and you want to see how it performs. I think if you keep it in, like I say, that 8 to 12 miles per hour range, you know, you're doing fine, but you wouldn't want to try to go much faster than that, but... Uh, 
I like having this regen braking too, that makes it really nice. You can hear all that crunching going on. These tires don't have the uh, greatest amount of tread on them, and that's why I thought uh, I was expecting it to not perform very well, so I took it really easy this morning, but it, it really surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting it. Now the Grizzly, I have the E Huntsman tires on there, and I was expecting that one to perform uh, pretty well, you know, with those big tires on there, lots of tread. But these are doing really well. I definitely like the tires on this, uh, like the, the uh, stock tires on this bike, the Graffiti, better than I do the tires that were the stock tires on the uh, Grizzly. I'd rather have these tires. You just don't want to go too, too fast because you might hit a patch of ice and... I, you know, I just take my time and, and uh, you can navigate through this. Like I say, here it doesn't happen too often that we get snow like this, so I'm, I'm sure some of you um, have it where it's just all the time, so maybe it's... and it gets to be too much and maybe you just can't do it though. And the other thing is, too, where you may be, they probably load up the road with uh, salt and sand, right? So, obviously here they don't do anything, so you don't have to worry about that part of it um, doing anything uh, harmful to your bike. I don't know what uh, tonight's going to bring, but uh, I get the feeling these roads are not going to be very good tomorrow because if this freezes over, this is going to be one uh, mess. So hopefully the uh, sun uh, is able to melt this as we're approaching 2.30 in the afternoon about here, so I wonder if the uh, sun will be able to stay up long enough to melt a good portion of this, because otherwise this is going to be one mess uh, tomorrow morning uh, for commuters, for sure. You can see that snow there blowing off that roof right into my face. Thank you for that. Of course, I'm not wearing any glasses, so uh, my eyes felt that one for sure. So if you want to leave a comment in the comments below on riding in these conditions. And what do you think of the uh, graffiti and how it's performing in this condition? Am I crazy to be even doing it or do you think, what do you think? So leave a comment in the comments below on that or you can leave a comment on any of the videos you see on the channel and uh i got a little trigger happy and went a little faster there because there was a little bit of just wet pavement and no uh, ice or slush on it So I want to give a shout out to my friend David. I uh, saw him just earlier this afternoon, just before I uh, came on this ride. And uh, all is well with David and he's going to be uh, coming back out riding with me before you know it here in the next little bit. We're just gonna wait for a little bit nicer weather here and, uh, and he'll be joining me. 
we'll get back out for some rides and we may have a few others joining us as well uh, get a mini group going so I'm looking forward to that so thank you to everyone who's asking about David and about him coming back out for uh, rides he will be joining me once again uh, for some more riding yeah this bike uh, performs pretty well in the uh, snowy or icy or slushy conditions uh, I would have liked to have had it uh, more straight snow than this, but um, it melted before I had a chance to do this video, unfortunately, but that's fine. Well, all right, well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed the snow slush ice ride on the uh, Lyric Graffiti. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Also, if you want to purchase this bike, I do have a link in the descriptions below. And you can uh, hit that link and then use the discount code Oregon eBiker Mark. That's all one word, Oregon eBiker Mark. And that will get you now $150 off the bike. No longer $100. We've increased it now. Thank you to Lyric Cycles to $150 off if you purchase this bike. So, pretty good deal right there. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.